Meet Brad Krug from Bottom Feeders. Brad's been lugging bulky amps to gigs, rehearsals, and studios for years. And quite frankly, he's getting a little sick of it. Like most guitar players, Brad's a stickler for the tone that he gets with his amp. Today we're going to hook him up with Mixcraft, which comes with an awesome suite of virtual amps, and see just how it compares. Okay, I think I'm ready. <laughs> one works pretty good especially for this song yeah, this has turned out to be pretty easy a lot easier than I thought it would I like this loop feature makes it easy to go back and switch between the tones to see what you like I can keep playing it and playing it until I get the tones adjusted to exactly the way I like it the way it's gonna fit the song that I'm recording I can drop down the effects screen and use all of the additional effects that are available too, like the reverbs and the delays and the EQs. So what kind of amp and cabinet have you been dragging around all these years? Live Marshall rig. I had a 100 watt JCM with a, with a 412 cabinet. I like the tone and everything I was getting for live sound. And what took you so long or what kept you from trying a virtual amp? A little skeptical at first going to the digital stuff, but uh, eventually I was going to a digital pedal anyway with all of the VSTs, if you want to call it that, or the amp simulators, uh, distortions and whatnot, and I was programming all that through the pedal. And Mixcraft comes along and has all this stuff right in there. And I was a little apprehensive to use it at first because I thought maybe it would be kind of fake sounding, trying to get a, a guitar to sound really good on a, on a recording. And uh, after a while, it's like, well, after I worked with it quite a bit, it seemed to, seemed to dial in pretty good. Yeah, for me, it was kind of the same thing. Um, when I was first approached to use a virtual amp, it sounded kind of silly to me, um, like it was a toy, or uh, I wouldn't be able to get the uh, sustain feedback or pick harmonics or all that natural feel that you get from your amplifier but I tried it anyway and I will admit that I was wrong and these days I rarely plug in a physical amplifier and instead of uh, bringing the amplifier in to the studio that I was always using live I could just uh, plug in uh, bring my laptop for that and uh, plug in the the equipment that way you can bring my guitar and just plug into the laptop and uh, record so what do you think about trying it out on stage sometime instead of your amp i can use this live on stage i'm gonna have to try that sometime and try it he did brad has become another shining example of mixcraft enlightenment we're glad we could help you're welcome brad <laughs> 